morning. Well, actually, it's good afternoon, isn't it, everyone? Hi, it's Ali from Ali's Cards and Knickknacks. Hope everyone's having a lovely Saturday um, day today. Just waiting uh, a few more minutes. I'm on a little bit early. Just making sure Facebook's tuned in. And I've got the volume down. So, um, I've got messages on, so give me a hoy so I can see who's watching. And um, anyone that um, puts a comment on, I've got three chocolate boxes to give away. So please leave me a comment so I'll send you a chocolate box. Hi Jodie, how are you? Uh, just waiting another minute or so. Is Hannah with you, love? Right. I hope um, the weekend's lovely. We've got beautiful um, weather. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm going well. I have spent all afternoon, all day, making Father's Day cards. I've got to make seven. So that's a lot of Father's Day cards. Uh, I send them to my um, son-in-laws and um, to I've got three dads, so they all get one. Um, do you want to see them? So this one is a one for a gardener. Uh, that's um, quite a nice fancy fold one. Right, this one I was going to do a class on, but unfortunately COVID has put us into lockdown. But I'm hoping that soon um, we won't have to worry. We've made this one in class already. Um, I made this one today. Can you see this one? I'm going to make sure I keep it in the camera. Uh, so this one's quite a nice one. Lots of layers though, lots and lots of layers. This one. I quite like this one. And this will probably be for my son. He doesn't watch my videos, so it's okay. And I've got one more to go and I'll have all my um, Father's Day cards. I thought next week we'd make some Father's Day. So if you see any you like, let me know and we can make it next week um, on our lives. Okay, let's get started. So uh, I've got three watching now. So I know Jodie and Hannah are there. So I'm just not sure who the third person is. Uh, Let's start. Today I'm using Bermuda, Bermuda Bay coloured cardstock um, to make our chocolate box. See, this is a green one there. So I thought I'd do a blue one. So this is our six by six. So make sure you've got your six inches by six inches square. Then this is a three inch by ten inch. So that will wrap around our drawer. And then you have two at three by six, okay? DSP, yeah, um, we want to cut that just smaller than three inches, so two and fifteen sixteenths. And then this is should be one and one and a half inches, but I cut it down just just a fraction smaller than that again, so I get the border. Our little white card is two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So, and this is to put our sentiment in. So, let's get started. I'll just put everything aside now that you've seen. We're going to do our scoring. So, this is our six by six. This will become the drawer, okay? So we're going to score it, and I need to score it one and a half inches all the way round. So I'll put my blade out the way. So 
we'll just go yep 1.5 one and a half inches all the way around on all four sides is anyone working with me just let me know so if um, I go too fast you can let me know you'll have to excuse my band-aid um, I was changing my blade on my cutter and unfortunately um, cut myself so I'm just seeing that line is crooked don't know how I might have been moving while I talked so I'll try again right, nice straight lines oh that's better so that's the scoring there for that now we've got our 10 inches by 3 inches and we need to score that at different intervals. So thread it through this way, start at 2 inches, then go out to 3 and a half, then 6.5. And the last one for this is eight. Okay. Oh, you've scored already. Oh, good girl, Jody. You're all prepared. So one piece of the three by six is three inches, which sits on top of the box, and then 4.5. There we go. And this one is just scored in half at three inches. It's our little card. Okay, that's all our scoring done. I did do some instructions, but um, instructions are difficult sometimes because um, you may forget a step in them. So we're going to cut from the score marks down to the first score line. Then on the opposite side, do the same thing. Okay, so you've got all your tabs. Now just tab those, which is just cutting a small little piece out of them. This way it helps us when we fold and glue that we don't have any sticking up in the air. All right, just a small slither doesn't have to be much All right. hope everyone's well it's a bit sad that we got our um, lockdown extended so it looks like I'll be making a few more live videos until we're back to normal Okay, now just put all those bits aside. Now that we've done that, we've tabbed all, all those corners. We're going to get our bone and we're just going to fold them in. And this way. Okay, so you can start to see the drawer coming together now. So uh, what we want to do is put the glue on these ends. So you can either turn it, turn it backwards, and then do one end at a time. Glue the tabs. Right. Now we have to be very precise, making sure the corners are level, and nothing sticking up. Because when you try and do the wrap, if anything sticks up or is not level, it will catch. All right, all right. there we go. Stick, stick, stick. Now we glue the other end. Just making sure it's level. There we go. 
that in so we fold the tabs in once again making sure it's all level I didn't tab this one very well it's got a piece sticking up I'll need to trim that So that looks good. I'll just hold this corner and trim that tab. Okay. So there's our little box. Now we've got the wrap. And we just fold all the join, all the score marks. Use our bone, of course. Hope the internet's going all right. I've only got a couple of bars today, which is a bit unusual. So the way I like to do the box is to make sure I've got, don't do it too tight, is to wrap it around it. Okay. That way you, you know you're not going to um, do it too tight. I'll just put a bit of glue here without going too much. You need enough though because it's got a hold and you don't want it letting go, especially if you give it away as a gift. So there we go. I'll just put some weight on that. And there's your box. A very simple simple box and now that you've made your first draw box you'll realize how simple it is so let's just take my box out and run the bone th through it so I get a good hold okay feels better put my draw back in the right way of course well it just doesn't want to play the game there we go draws in now next step hope I'm following my instructions all right I've made so many that um I can do it by memory. So fold your other three by six pieces. This is your card. So I folded that and used my bone. This other one is the easel part. So we need to fold that. Okay. And we want that to sit. Now it's called a mountain fold because it peaks. And the girls in my class will remember I talk about mountain folds and valley folds and they look at me and say, what? So now this is going to be glued to the top of the box. Okay. So I've run out of my stamping up glue, believe it or not. I've been working so hard, I forgot to order myself some. So there we go. This should be nice. And make sure you crease your easel part very well because we want it to sit nice. Now the card will be attached like that, okay? So you can either attach it now or you can put your DSP on. So let's do the DSP because it's a bit easier if you um, do it now. So I've got a couple of sheets. A lot of gluing with this project. Now, of course, you can use tear tape if you prefer tear tape but I prefer um, liquid glue right. 
So I'll put one on the front of the card. One inside. Like that. And then put your white piece for your sentiments or your signing or your little whatever you want to sort of say so put that in trying to make sure it's center one of my father's day cards i didn't center very well i'm a bit disappointed and it was the hardest one so i'm determined to still use it okay now here we go nice lot of amount of glue here all right just push it out to the corners And we'll pop this piece right on the very top, like that. Okay. So that sits like that. Now, you do have a fourth piece in the kit. You can put it down on the bottom to cover the, um, the little where we do the wrap don't have to uh, just depends if you want to cover that up for continuity there we go and then we've got our smaller pieces here and they just go all around the side you tired of gluing yet girls Right. My iPad stalled, so not good means the internet's playing up. How you going, Hannah? You got it sorted, mate? If they're a fraction too long, make sure you trim them out. Right, last one on the back. Here. I'm not happy with this other glue. It's not holding the best. Okay, so that's our box covered in DSP. Obviously, you can do it any color or any size. Now, um, you have a little bug or a flower or something now this is to keep our easel in place so you need a small dimensions pop it onto your little bug like that having a cut finger is being a bit painful and it goes around the middle so you don't want it too forward. Now we'll put our little card, apply our card. Like that, which gives the ease of weight. And I'll just make sure it all sits down. And of course, it won't sit for me. Where does it want to sit? Right. So 
just might need some adjustments. Might not have creased this. going to put our sentiment but we'll stamp first just in case we do a boo-boo I'm doing it in Bermuda Bay you can do it in black or another color if you've got a matching color there we go I'll have to fiddle with that to see how I see it's my card that is isn't sitting right before the glue dries I need to trim my card because it's not sitting right hopefully try and get it back before the glue goes a bit funny always the way when you do a live all the others have sat lovely and of course this one doesn't want to try back here there we go finally found where it likes to sit now put our sentiment on up a bit high because we're going to put the ribbon on next Okay, and what colour ribbon will I put on this one? I think I'll put white and silver on. Don't have a bit meta bay. This one, it's all right, but I'll try this one. So you open your card up, and you, yes, this one will do fine. So, oh dear. Having a shocker, girls, having a shocker. It's not going to stay. So, get my tear and tape. I don't often use tear and tape, but I, I want to uh, make secure the ribbon so it doesn't move around and flap. Might be, um, I use this all purpose glue in my classes, but I, I think we'll ditch it, ladies, after I've had a full day of it. I'm not happy with it. And if I don't want to use it, I don't want you to use it. So I'm just fixing this up. So I'll have to get plenty of stock in. Now back to the ribbon. Have a nice long piece of ribbon because we've got to tie a bow. And if you're short yourself, it's better to trim the tails than to um, run out. So there we go. Bring it round to the front. Tie. I'm trying to keep it in the camera much harder than you realize trying to keep something right in the center of the camera I 
I gave myself plenty of ribbon, didn't I? I just want to send my um, love and condolences to everyone that was involved in the truck crash here at Port Macquarie. Um, it was a very sad day for first responders and the families of the truck drivers. Um, there we go. So I just want you to know we've been thinking of you. The whole town's upset for you. Um, don't think you're on your own because you're not. There we go. That's better. Got a nice bow happening. Got that happening. Now the last thing of all is poke your drawer out. And I'm not sure, Hannah and um, Jody, if you have one of these. It's a one inch punch. So you put the punch in halfway and punch it out. which I do have done for all the others. And of course, today I'm having a terrible time. Nothing wants to work. Now, I was thinking about if you don't have a punch, just use a coin and trace around it. And then use your little scissors and cut it out. And I find if it's a bit rough, just use a file to smooth any rough edges off. Close your box. Um, now, I do have some chocolates sitting somewhere. Now, the chocolates I've put in my box that will be going out to the three lucky winners is from Gourmet Taste Sensations. Now, um, you can buy these um, at the markets or you can ring and um, look it up. It's on Facebook and everywhere. Gourmet Taste Sensations. The chocolates are delicious. Big, nice big. I think they're made by bubble ganache or something like that. But lovely big chocolates. I had to make a big box to put them in. So I put my chockies in. Like that. Push it back in. You could put any chockies in. But I, I like her chocolates. They're delicious. And there we go. Let me clean up my mess. That was a bit hard, wasn't it? No, how'd you go, JD and Hannah? Yeah, three quarter inch punch will work fine, darling. It just makes it easier to open the box to put your finger in and hold and pull. So I like to push from behind. Uh, but there we go. I've made five chocolate boxes. I'll be giving some away. The rest will go to family. And my little bow there. Might need some reinforcing. There we go. Can everyone see that? I might have to put them all in like that. There's my five chocolate boxes. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Um, I hope you uh, like making the boxes as much as I did. You can use any DSP. Oh, that'd be good, Jody. Send me a pic of yours. I'd love to see it. And um, I'll be live again next Wednesday and Saturday. Um, if I feel like it in between, I might do one or two in between, but definitely next Wednesday I'll be doing uh, a live. I'll just get what I'm doing for that. Next Wednesday we're going to do the beautiful apricot suite where we decorate the little jars you can get and two lovely apricot cards. And next Saturday is Father's Day weekend. Um, we'll be doing Father's Day cards. All right, so have a good day. If you see anything you'd like, you can use my online shop, which is alimcminiman.stampingup.net. Otherwise, drop me a line. And I'm happy to take any orders over the phone. If you'd like to um, join my team, let me know. 
um, we have a lovely group of ladies. Um, thanks again and see you soon. Bye. Oh, and there will be kits available for the peaches as well. All right. Thanks a lot, ladies. Bye-bye.